Number seven then from the 2017 Advanced Iron Maths, Matrices Question. Six marks, but they're all in bits and pieces, so it shouldn't be too hard. What does it say? You're given two matrices, P and Q, two little two by two matrices. Part A, for one mark, for the first part. In matrix P, it says the determinant of P is two. If that's the case, what's X? Well, if the determinant is equal to two, the determinant's given by the product of the main diagonal elements minus the product of the other diagonal elements. So that means that negative x take away negative 10 comes to 2. Take it across, x equals 10 minus 2, x equals 8. And there's the first mark. And the second part, just for one mark, what's the inverse of p? Well, the inverse of p is, and there's a pattern you learn for that, it's 1 over the determinant, which you know is 2, and then you move these terms about. It actually comes from replace each element by its signed minor and then transpose it and finally divide by the determinant. But you'll just learn it as divide by the determinant, reverse the main diagonal, remembering that's now an 8, so it's negative 1, 8, and flip the signs in the other diagonal. And if you do that, you'll get a mark. Part three, now for two marks. What's this product? The inverse of P multiplying the transpose of Q. Remember to keep them in the same order. Well, you know the inverse of P, that's a half of, it's handy having that two at half outside. If it wasn't outside, I'd probably bring it outside. Now the transpose of Q. Well, that just means you turn the rows into columns. The first row becomes the first column, the second row becomes the second column. Leave that half out of it just now and multiply those using that pattern for matrix multiplication. That pattern being the scalar product of the row times the column. So you've got negative two plus six, that's four. Negative four, take away two y, nothing I can do with that. 10, take away 24 is minus 14, 20 plus 8y, we'll stay just now, now finally divide by 2, because everything halves quite nicely, 2, negative 2 minus y, negative 7, 10 plus 4y. The first mark was for getting the transpose of q, and there was just one mark for carrying out that matrix multiplication. Part B, you're given this new matrix R, 5, negative 2, Z, negative 6, and it says, what is Z if R is singular? Well, singular means it'll have no inverse. It'll have no inverse if its determinant is 0. That means the determinant of R has to equal 0. That's the first mark for realising that. Now, if the determinant is 0, that means that the product of the main diagonal elements minus the product of the other diagonal elements equals zero. There are other ways. If you've got an, in general, if a matrix has got a determinant of zero, it's because one row is a multiple of another, there's a redundancy, or one row is a linear combination of other rows. But here you're simply going to say the product of the main diagonal, which is negative 30, minus the product of the other diagonal, so that will be plus, because I'm taking away a negative, 2z should equal 0. So 2z is 30, so z is 15 for that mark.